My namaskarams and pranams to my parents and my gurus. If not for them, I won't be sitting and talking about music. I would say it didn't change my life. From the very beginning, it has been my part of my life as far as I know. Only through music, I discovered my passion for teaching. Of course, music has opened many doors and dimensions for me in my life. Through music, I was able to see or blessed to have talented and affectionate students. If not for music, I wouldn't be able to meet all of them and to pass my knowledge to them. That was also a great blessing. I would like to say my guru was traveling to Bangalore from Chennai to Bangalore to give classes. This is about, I would say, in 1970s. So when she went to Bangalore to teach and she couldn't come back, she was uh, stuck there because of a strike. You know, they, those days they have strike, they cannot travel back, the trains will stop, there won't be mode of transport. So she was stuck there for a while. So for me, I think I was around maybe in my teens. For fun, I started teaching the students until my guru was coming back, just for fun, to help them out. Okay, then my guru came back after the strike, everything was over. Mm -hmm. She came and uh, saw me, saw the students playing for her. She told me, Vijaya, Nana, Sali Kurtirka. That was my first calling, I thought, and with my guru's blessings from that day, I have continued. And the same guru, after 30 to 45 years, I met her in Malaysia. She came to visit me, and my children were singing for her. And she complimented again, you have taught them very well. And that was again a great blessing, I would think, and greatest moments in my life. I would say more than uh, attraction, it was a blessing. My guru will always say that to everyone. To see a veena itself, you should have been blessed by. In the Pona Janmatle, Nikurtu Vichirdada, Veena Paka Mudion Sulvanga. So to see the Veena itself, we have to be blessed because she's a Veena teacher, she's talking about Veena, I'm talking about music on the whole. Even to hear or to learn, you have to be blessed. So my Guru's words again, she will say you have to be blessed to see the Veena, to play the Veena and even to get a proper Guru and to learn and to teach. So she will say all these things. So I will definitely say it is a blessing or my a little bit which I am touching this instrument and taking on to the next generation. Which keeps me attracted or keeps me going, I would say, is when I see my students performing. Many of them have their own schools and they are teaching and their own programs. When I see all those, that inspires me and keeps me going and moving on in teaching life. Okay, advice, that's a wrong Thing. I'm sure everyone will say no advice, so I'm not going to advise anyone about this. I'm going to talk about my experience on this question. I would like to say, have faith in God, choose your Guru, never look back. Have faith in one Guru and then carry on. Whatever you have, whatever you need, feel free to ask your Guru. That is very important. And never stop practicing and never think like you are playing a sangadi or playing a phrase or even in the Mridangam if you are playing a korve or anything. Don't give up. You keep playing until you get it and I am very sure about that. You will get it one day. You may not get it today or tomorrow but one day you will get it. Until you get you must keep practicing. That is a very important thing and your practice must be consistently done not one day practicing for 12 hours another day one month you don't practice is of no use that's what my guru taught me we have to practice every day we cannot go for class without practicing you must learn the lesson whatever the teacher teaches you be prepared and go for your class that's one thing and music is like an ocean so whatever you learn from the teacher we only get a very little to know about music I think you have to definitely start listening if you want to excel in music or you want to know the depth of music you have to listen a lot because it's like an ocean how much can teacher teach you how much can teacher show you what it is so it is up to the student to take the interest and listen since it's an ocean we cannot see the other side of the ocean so we won't be able to even finish 
understanding or learning or listening and thank Sugam for giving me this wonderful opportunity Shakespeare says man who dislikes music is dangerous and another German philosopher says without music life would be a mistake so you know music is that great it not necessary everyone who learns music going to be a professional in singing or veena playing they can learn music and use it for so many other things in scientifically they have proved that when you learn music your right side of your brain gets activated and when you're an instrumentalist it is more the nerves gets connected so so many benefit you can you learn music you can enjoy music you can talk about music so not necessary everybody have to become professional in music but it's enjoyable thing you can connect yourself to the divine with music that's how i do with all this thank you